Well, good day, farmers, and welcome back to a farm simulator help video, I guess we'll call it. Um, I was asked there on the last farm sim Saturday, last Saturday, to uh, do a little instructional video on how to download and install mods and get them to work in your game. This is for Farm Simulator 2015. Now, there's two main websites that I find that are good. The only reason I like them a lot is because there's not a whole pile of ads stuffed on them and it's really hard to find the actual thing to download the file. I don't like those uh, websites you go to and there's like, you know, you see, yeah, this is what I want, but it says download here and then you click it and it's like some other stupid program, you know, to format your hard drive or something stupid, right? So um, I try to stay away from those websites. So the two main I use on the top of your screen here is LS2015 and farmingmods.net. Farming-mods.net or there's ls2015.com. So most of the time I use the LS2015. So this uh, is always updated and brings up all the new stuff that's just been added. So let's um, let's get a tractor. Uh, let's get a tractor and an implement for our tractor for say. Okay, so there's a search up top here. You can type in tractors there or they have categories down here. So if you go down here, tractors. So this loads up from newest to oldest, of course. All the tractors. So we'll just kind of skip through here. Oh, that's cool. Whatever, bulldozer kind of thing. Crawler, so click on that guy. And it gives you a couple of pictures and stuff. So yeah, that might be kind of fun. <clears throat> so it gives you a couple, sometimes gives you a couple, you know, power 70 heart, blah, 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 blah. Sometimes it doesn't give you anything. See, there's an ad here, ad here, but there's not a bunch of ads where, you know, it'll say, like, download, and you click the download, and it's like, wait a minute, this is taking me to a total different thing. So just click on the, it's called the T150, right, H T Z T 150 crawler. So down the bottom here download. Now, uh, this is automatically going to save in my mods folder. Now, you have to make sure you put the zip file in your mods folder or it won't work. So, uh, save file. Um, uh, okay. Okay, so mine's going to ask me where I want to save it. So, I'll show you how to get to it, but your mods folder is in um, my documents, user, my documents, my games, from Simulator 2015, mods. Those are all different folders. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so I'm going to actually save mine to my desktop. Boom. So, okay, she's done. So, we'll just close this. Um, see the kids here for a second. I got them on a, a rapid fire thing every 10 seconds it'll change so uh, but anyways that saved it to here T150 so sometimes these have to be extracted as well 90% of the times they don't so we'll just open that I use WinRAR you can use WinZip you can use some sure other things so this one's actually okay it's okay if you keep it in the zip file but sometimes you'll open this up and there'll be like other things oh, all these stupid things keep coming up go away There'll be other things that need to get extracted into the from out of this file. Go away. Into the other one. Okay, so that's good. That one's good. So now to find your mods directory, you can do a couple things. Go to the search for programs and files. There's one thing you do here. Just type in M O D S. And it should find mods. Okay, you can open it there, double click or one click, sorry. So that's your mods folder. You can see there, users, my documents, my games, farm simulator, mods. So you would drag. Now I make a shortcut. See, mine's a shortcut. So I can actually open up the same thing there. I've pulled every mod I have out of my directory right now, so it makes it very straighty forward. So this, you can drag into there. Okay. Now, if you for some reason can't find it through that, there's another way you can do it. You go start, documents. It opens up this. It's like, whoa! Okay, so this is where some of your game files and stuff get saved. But Farm Simulator stuff is under My Games, Farm Simulator 2015, and Mods. There we are again. So we're gonna 
drag that in there. We're going to say move here. Okay, so that one's good to go. Now, to actually get these mods to work, you can't be in your game. So if you're already in your game, close it off. Exit your game, and then restart it when you got your mods in. Okay, so that one's good. Now we want to find an implement. So we're going to go up here to implements and tools. Um, this would be a bit of everything. Oh, there's a... I think that's a, think that's a tree planter. Um, oh, that's neat. Bill attacher discharge sheets. Ooh. Um, <clears throat> that's kind of different. Bree nig plow with packer. Hmm. Well, that's really different. I don't want that one though. Sorry. So let's go back. <laughs> um, I want to get like a cultivator or something. Now you could type in cultivator. Ooh, there's a big one. I don't want something huge, though. Wow, oh, that's really huge. That's getting crazy. Um, front loader. What on earth is that? Loader of some sort. Hmm. They don't load too many mods per page, so you got to kind of click through them. Oh, there's a mod pack. Actually, that might be a good one. Let's just download that. Uh, so this one... This one should be down here. Now this one might be one that we have to unpack. Since it says pack of cultivators, so we're just going to save that to the desktop. It'll take a few seconds to download. So while that's doing that, let's just have another look through here. Oh, there's a neat old one. Oh, that would fit really good behind our... Okay, we're going to use this one too. <laughs> okay, four furrow plow behind that that machine we've got, that'd be kind of neat. So, same thing again, save desktop, or if you want, you can save it right to that mods folder, and you don't have to do all that. <clears throat> That's generally the way I do it, so. Okay, so, pack, okay, um, we'll just open this one, yeah, that one's all good. Drag and put that one in there. Now, pack of cultivators. This one might have more zip files in it. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So that's good. So we'll drag that one there. Okay. Now we're ready to fire up the game. Okay, everything's in. Now, there's other things you get into too. I'm not going to get into today, but you could go and open these things and change the prices of things and blah, blah, blah. I put a bunch of money in a saved game here. Um, so let's load her up. Career, Westbridge Hills. This is just a one I just started for fun here, just to add a bit more money to it too. Um, okay, so start. All right, so if everything went good, we should be able to um, get our mods now. As you can see, I'm going to actually just sell all this stuff we've got. Sell, yes. Sell, yes. Sell, yes. Just so it's not too confusing for everything. We'll just get rid of everything we own. Sell. Sell. I think that's probably good. Oh, we missed one. How do we do that? I missed the odd one. The stuff stays in there for some reason. There we go. Now we got her. Okay. Everything's gone. Sold. Nothing left. Empty field. Empty farm. Okay. So, you want to open up your um, shop. So, you press P. P on your keyboard. Now, see, this is the in-game stuff that comes with the game. Okay? Regular category. So, if you want your mods, click on this arrow. The big arrow up here just under your money. Boom. Boom. Category mods. I don't know why I got a telehandler, but it's probably something to do with all that other stuff. But anyways, in here should be our tractor. So the T-150. So you want to click on him, buy. Boom! If you want another one, buy another one. Want another one? Buy another one. Buy another one. Buy another one. If you got the money. So we should have five of them up there now. So you can either hit this arrow or press escape. 
Uh, yes, press escape. Okay, so that goes back to that main screen. Now, cultivators, there's that, um, or sorry, that plow. So we'll buy one of them. Hit escape. Look at all the cultivators we got in here now. Holy cow, that's from that big mod pack. Oh, I might actually use this in my game. This is pretty sweet looking. I'm kind of liking that one. Okay, so let's get one of them. So, escape. What else we got here? Tally handlers. Huh. Wheel loaders. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, so if there was, you know, like, bailing equipment that you would download, you would see the little icon here that would say bailing equipment, and you do the same. Click that, buy or whatever you like. So, go right back out. Now, of course, oh crap, there's nothing here. Well, it is all up at the store. So, you can either hit I on your keyboard, click over until you get to the screen. So, you can see everything that's up here at the store. We're right now down here at our farm. And, um, sorry, right here down on our farm. Yep. And then you drive up here. So, you can drive everything back, or you can just hover over it, reset. Yes, that'll reset it to your farm. Reset. Yes. Okay. Re I'm just going to reset everything. Yes. Okay. Reset. Yes. Okay. Reset. Yes. Okay. Reset. Yes. Okay. Reset. Yes. How many of these did we buy? Reset. Okay. Okay. Everything is from there over to our farm now. So now when we go out, boom, 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 everything is here. Super awesome, sweet. So, this is a pretty cool looking old rickety old thing. Look at the tracks on it. Holy cow, those would like really bite in good. Alright, so, we want to hook up the cultivator. This thing will move for me. Whoa, that's a tricky thing to drive. You want to play with your horn, press zero. Okay, we got him. Oh, that was a kind of a weird thing. All right, so let's head her out to the field now. Ooh, hopefully this thing will pull this thing. <laughs> Put the attachment up and down with X. And um, if you want, uh, hopefully we can hire work. Sometimes they have the mod set up, but you can't hire a worker. You have to do it yourself. Which is fine, you know. Okay, for some reason it's a little choppy. I don't know exactly why. So, we'll just hit H, or if you want to put the attachment down, you press V. And then just drive. Yeah, that's working pretty good. Or let Harold take over. There you go, press H. Alright, we'll let him go. We'll, um... Fire up another guy here. We'll hook on this plow. Sorry for the choppiness. I don't know why it's doing that. Sometimes, the odd time you do get like this, it could be these tractors. There is a lot of detail in that. That's got to get drawn every time it gets moved, right? Uh oh. Oh, there you go. Snap. Um, yeah, could be could be could be that. So what's the features of this thing? Lower digital tachometer. Hmm. Left shift and R. Left shift and R. Oop. Wow. That's cool. Now that's something to come with the mod, so not something really to do from the game. Oh, we want to mess things up. Press O and then drop your plow. Oh, crap! We're tilling up the freaking driveway. <laughs> Alright. So, buddy is good. We're going to hit Harold starting there. She's really choppy. Doesn't seem to like these guys for some reason. Sometimes, like I say, it happens like that. 
you get a mod. Like, these are really detailed, these ones. There's a lot of detail in these things. Like, they've got like, little compressors. Wow. There's a lot of detail in that. It's spectacular, actually. That's probably why it's making it work really hard. Yes, yeah, so. That is your tutorial on um, how to download and install mods. And those guys are out working now. Minus the other. Uh, 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 so sorry, I do apologize for that, but it's probably the mod. Um, now, if you don't like those tractors, go to Garage, Sell. It's always going to sell your first one you bought. Sell. Holy, how many of these do we get? Okay, so we want to, I don't have any other tractors installed right now, but um, now if you're in a game like this and you're like, you know, alt tab out and you're like, oh, let's go look for another tractor and you find one and you install it just the way I showed you there and then you come into the game here and you just go there and you go to tractors. Oh, wait a minute, it's not there. Well, you got to stop your game. I'll show you that first right now, actually. Let's go. Um, where am I going here? Tractors. And let's just grab... Let's just grab anything. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's go to page 20 here. Let's see what we got here. Z-Door. And then there's a bundle. That might be a good one to show you. That might be... Holy cow, there's a lot of them. <laughs> um, this might take a second or two to download, too. So let's uh, let's download that. Ba-boom, ba-boom. Two minutes. Oh, yeah, that's going to take a minute. So um, let's... Case International. Uh, yeah, what the heck. You can pick any tractor you like, though, right? But I must warn you, some mods are crap. I have found a few that are crap. And uh, that's going to be a minute, so we'll just let that finish up. So, oh, that cultivator just <coughs> on its own. Uh, while we're waiting, let's just grab an in-game tractor here. Let's get the 310 horse. Oh, this one here. Okay, so that tractor will be back at our store now. We can drive this one back. The Big Daddy. Oh, it's still being sort of choppy. I don't understand why. <laughs> but anyways, probably due to my computer needing a reboot. But anyways, we'll, uh, we can still show you kind of what's happening here. The tires go and stop for pause for a second. It's weird. Pretty weird. Whoa, that's a big down there. All right, let's get this guy uh, hooked onto this cultivator. Yeah, I don't really understand why it's it's doing that. That's really strange. Oops. Oh, I guess I'm not in the middle of it. Hang on. Can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, Fred, take her away. Uh, okay, let's check our downloads here. Yep, looks like they're all done. Okay, so... Those now. Uh, just make sure that one should be good. Put that fella in there. This one... Oh, that one's good too. Okay. Sometimes there's more of these zip files in the zip file that you have to extract out. So let's fire that one in. Okay, so they're all in our mods directory, as you can see. And now if we go in here to our store, go blah, blah, categories, tractors. Wait a minute, we still only got one. I just installed two more. Oh, crap, what's going on here? Well, you need to save game. Yes. Because the file, or the game, does not know those files yet. Quit game and quit. Alright, now you can fire it back up. 
Oh, Deliana Potty. <laughs> oh, he's going to kill me over that one. <laughs> uh, okay, so hopefully this game's starting here. There we go. So we'll load up that game again. Career. Westbridge Hills. All right, so let's get Freddy going here again. Um, if we look in P now, tractors, there we go. So everything is all installed here now. That is the major probably problem that some of you are being having. Oh, look at this one. Some of you are having with, well, why won't the mods work? You have to make sure you restart your game. Wow, there's a lot of tractors in here. Oh, I'm going definitely for this one. Ha. Oh. And, uh, cultivators. There must be a really huge, big, greasy one here somewhere. Seven meters, eight meters. Let's try that one behind that feller. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Wait a minute. I'm missing tires. Dual wheels, keypad four. Oh, there we go. That is a lot of rubber. Holy cow. This thing still looks tiny behind it. <laughs> I'm going to have to drive right off of here, I think. Yeehaw! All right. So we'll unfold him. Press X, unfold him. And... That's really annoying why it's doing that little... I don't know why. Oh, this got to have a good horn. Oh, yeah. All right, so... You would do the same... With this guy. Well, if you ever stop for me, holy, back her up, bud. And uh, we would go. So that is... A great big, huge... New Holland. Wow. I like that tractor. It's actually kind of nice. Um, what the heck else tractors are in here? There's a lot of them. Well, you know what we could do? We could have a tractor show. We can have a tractor show, so we need one of those. Need one of those. Need one of those. Need one of those. I might run out of space at the store here. All these look the same. I guess they're some different. I don't know. I'm going to go up here. Little mares are getting to look all different now. Yeah, some of them actually all do look the same. They're just different numbers. I presume there's differences in them. I don't know. This would be like going to the dealership and seeing them all lined up ready for sale, eh? It's going to be awesome. Hundreds of dollars and thousands of dollars of machinery. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Better put a couple of those guys there. There. So now, we go to the dealership. We got our own tractor show here. Holy cow, look at them all. Super awesome. But yeah, that's anyways how you download and install mods. Hopefully uh, you can find that directory okay. Um, probably the best thing to do is just do the start button and then just do the search for mods. M-O-D-S. And then find her that way. Or go through the other method of the documents my games farm simulator mods there's all our mods there there we go anyways there's the old DLA it's all cute anyways uh, thanks for watching hopefully that helps with your mods installs and then getting them in game and stuff just remember to restart your game and uh, oh the first time you fell asleep <laughs> but anyways thanks for watching have a good day and we'll catch you next week oh he's all cute
What happened, Dill? Use Dilly. I don't remember where that was. What's well, at the cemetery before we had the before we had the uh, road paved back by the gazebo? Huh, cool. Anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you later.